All right, so let's use this new information we have to our good use. Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros. So hands. please, please, just leave me alone. Milk of the puppy. You've landed me in enough trouble. Just, just leave. Look at you. You're shaking. It's an old injury. But there's more to it than that, isn't there? Oh. What are you saying? Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. I know about your situation, Lyman. How you were hurt in Lannisport. How painful that must have been. Oh, yes. You don't know what you're talking about. It's no wonder you still need milk of the poppy. No, I've never... It can't have been easy. Lyman Andros has been that. holding that over my head for years. Huh. Then don't let him. Fuck him, fat fuck. Andros was wrong about you, Lady Mira. You're kind. And you should know what he's... I should warn you. Aha! Andros is hiring swords, Hundreds of them. What? Oh shit! What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. Ah! But Andros is doing it in secret. No one knows. Or at least, he doesn't want anyone to know. I told him I'd keep quiet, but... Lord Whitehill won't be slaughtering anybody. With an army that size, he'll slaughter whoever he <clears throat> wants. But this is... It's only fair that you know, Lady Mira. What you do with it is up to you. But... I'd better get my affairs in order. I think he's pissed. What did I tell you? Do this. I've had enough of this, Andros. <clears throat> she showed me what you've been doing. I'm done. Ha! <laughs> Lady Mira, you've just made a very grave error. Very grave indeed. Don't tell me you're afraid of a handmaiden. <laughs> Lose face. <laughs> well played, Lady Mira. The game of kind of boring side conversations. Dun 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 dun. Okay then. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I, I think Mira's story is the worst out of all of them, but that's just me. I mean, that's my personal preference. I'm sure some people kind of like the politics shit. You sure Not you know me. where you're going? <clears throat> Potter? Let's see that map again. So you're asking now, are you? Surprised you haven't taken it from my pocket already. How much food we got left? Here we are. Carried. How's the food? <laughs> But we should keep moving. <laughs> Better if we're moving in the right direction, though. Doesn't matter if we all starve before we even get there. We're on the right track. This way. What the? Is it a marking or something? Maybe he knows what the wildling markings are on the trees. <whistles> Wildlings. <clears throat> A female wildling, and she's not hideous. Isn't it convenient how somehow they have all these female folk. wildlings that aren't hideous in the series? Wildlings. Even though they're all supposed to be. This complicates things. You stay here. I'll try and talk to her. I'm one of them. Wait, what? He's a fucking wildling, Cotter. The. They might kick me around a little, but whatever you do, don't come out. All right. She has to think I'm alone. If she sees you, you'll only make things worse. No, I'm uh, I'm a friend. I grew up near Ardhol. You know it? 
I won't hurt you. All right. You won't. I'm one of you. I'm all. No. You sure look like a crow to me. You're dressed like one. Two chicks. You out here all alone, little pup. Come out or I'll kill your friend. Or I'll make him scream first. Listen, I don't want to fight. Then you shouldn't have come here. Please! You should have stayed behind your wall. He's not alone. I knew a little crow wouldn't wander off by himself. I'll kill them all. Leave them be, all right? Just... just take me. I think I'll take all of you. Let him go. That we're just passing through. We didn't mean any harm. Right. You and your fuckless men just want to kill us all and take our land. But you didn't mean any harm. They always travel in packs like that, so... Not surprising. Garrett! Kill them! Okay. All women? What's up with this? A whole pack of wily women? Oh! If you don't press it, it doesn't even do anything. Ooh, nasty stab. They had to, they were trying to kill them. What the hell is this now? Come on. Come on. Oh no, you stole the empty sack. I had no food. Garrett! Garrett, no! Oh. She's not fighting you! It's over! Could you stop? Shit! Are those the last of our supplies? Yep. Can't stay here. You're hurt. Come on. We can Can't rest up ahead. Didn't want to kill her. She's being a bitch. The other one too. Trying to kill them. Oh, these wildlings who just don't believe. They don't believe what they're told. Oh well. Dead now. That's all that matters. It's the only good wildling's a dead wildling. Wait, what? Who said that? Was me? Not enough whipping. Whip them harder. Wolf dragged out of the great hall like that. You wanted to kill him, didn't you? How did you know when to stop? I don't think I could have. I suppose that's why you're the Lord, and I'm. It's hard to know what's right. I never really know for sure. What do you think Lord Whitehill will do when he hears? He won't know of this. Not until we want him to. The gates are barred and every raven in the rookery is dead. My lord, there's been a message from High Point. Lord Whitehill invites you to discuss a truce. He wants huh. to make peace. As if we're that naive. Maybe this is an opportunity, a way to get behind their walls. And do what? You'd be putting yourself in danger, Roderick. She's right. Ryan. What do you hope to accomplish? We could get Ryan back. This could be our chance. You're right. Now that we have Griff, we can propose a trade. Yep. 
A trade. And his son for my brother. Then we have a plan. We'll leave first thing tomorrow morning. If you're going ahead with this, at least bring the Glenmore soldiers. We obviously need them here. You can't mean for Roderick to travel unprotected. What if the White Hills attack Ironrath while he's gone? My lord, you cannot go into an enemy stronghold unprotected. Ironrath is ours again. The Glenmores will ensure it stays that way. Let Arthur know at once. Hmm. Yes, my lord. I'll start making the preparations. Who's the spy? We still don't know who the spy is. One of them is the spy. Well, I'll need an advisor with me at High Point. By rights, it should be your sentinel. But for something this delicate, perhaps you best take Duncan. You're going to an enemy stronghold. Surely you want your master at arms. It's Roderick who must decide. Who would you rather have by your side? Hmm, one of them is the spy. Roiland's my sentinel. He comes to High Point. Duncan can stay here and defend Ironrath. I get the feeling Duncan's the Very spy, well. though. I do. Roderick, I know I can't come to High Point, but I can't just sit around and do nothing. I want to help. Please, I'll do anything you ask of me, even something dangerous. I want you to keep an eye on everyone. You never know who you can trust. Ah. I'll, I'll do my best. I've known Lud Whitehill a long time. He's selfish, greedy, and arrogant. But he'd never kill a guest in his own home. At least, I don't think he would. <laughs> great. I hope you're right, Mama. What great assurance. Damn, it took them a long ass time to get him down there. Fuckhead. Take that shit. Oh, okay. 